Okay, so in this video what we want to do is we want to build a night light that's based around the Arduino. And what we want this particular device to do here is to sense the light levels in the room. And if it gets dark, to turn on a light. And if it gets light again, turn the light off. Sort of like a night light. Now we tried to do this a couple of video videos ago using solely a transistor and we got it almost right but we had the logic a bit backwards. We had a night light that turned on when the lights came on and turned off when the lights went off. It was an instructive video on how transistors work but this one we can get it to work right primarily due to the flexibility that the Arduino affords in its programming. Okay so here's what we're going to do. Like we did before we're going to sense light levels in the ambient area using one of our photoresistors. And like we did before also, we're going to put it in as half of a voltage divider. We have a voltage divider here made out of a resistor and the photoresistor. This is a 2200 ohm resistor made out of red, red, red bands on there. And the way we have it already hooked up here, we just have the voltage divider sit <coughs> sitting here and here. And it's powered on the 5 volts of the Arduino. Okay, so this red line here is coming from the 5 volts of the Arduino going into the top of the 2200 ohm resistor out of the 2200 ohm resistor the current will flow go to the junction between the resistor and the photocell through the photocell and back along this bottom row of the breadboard right here which is connected to ground which goes back to the Arduino so that's the basic voltage divider and I hope you're starting to get a good picture of those in your head after all these videos we've discussed it at least half a dozen times now and what we're doing now is using the yellow and green clip leads here we're just monitoring the voltage across the photoresistor okay we have the voltmeter here set to 20 volts here and you can see that when the lights are on and things are hitting it we're getting about 1.7 1.17 volts across the photocell if we cover the photocell to simulate a dark room here you can see the voltage rises above two well above two almost a tenth of a volt if it's light again it drops down to about 1.1 well above two so it looks like two volts is our checkpoint we're going to say the room is dark when the voltage that we read on the Arduino or at this point across the photocell is above 2 volts. So what we've done then is sort of off camera we've written some code for the Arduino that looks a lot like code that we had in a previous video. Let's just look at it here. Sort of looks like this here. Um, we have a setup where we're making pin 5 our output pin. We're going to use that to trigger a transistor in a minute as we will see. We have a couple variables. A is an integer. V is a floating point number here. And what we're doing is we're reading the analog input from A0, analog input 0 on the Arduino. And in this line right here, like we've done before in a previous video, we're con converting A, which remember is a number between 0 and a 1024, 1024, the maximum of a 10-bit analog to digital converter, to the actual voltage, which is a number between 0 and 5. So first we divide A by its maximum possible value to sort of scale A to be a number between 0 and 1, then multiply that by 5 so we get the voltage. Now we just sort of took this code from a previous video where we were looking for something to happen less than 1.5 volts. But as we said now, we want to change this part of the code here to be something greater than 2 volts. Something like that is what we want to do now because we saw the photocell voltage rise above 2 volts when the room was dark. And if this happens, if the voltage we read on analog 0 is above 2, we want to make pin 5 high. If not, we just want pin 5 to be low. Okay, so that's sort of what we're going to do here. That's the code that we already have loaded into the Arduino going in here. So as it exists, it isn't really doing anything, but we know that pin 5 is going to go high when the Arduino reads a voltage greater than 2. So what we're going to do here, let's go ahead and insert our, our NPN transistor into the circuit board. And in case you can't see on the video, the flat side is going up that way. And what I'm going to do is like I did, I believe, in the last video, is let's get that common ground line going between the the Arduino power supply which is in ground right here and the transistor base there so we got the transistor grounded and notice that common ground sort of exists here's the Arduino coming to ground here's the 9 volt battery coming to ground right here and they're all along that bottom rail and I'm making the emitter exist also at that common ground so the emitter is grounded once again and as you might guess here I'm going to connect the base of the transistor that middle lead to pin 5 because that's the one that's going to come on according to our program when the voltage read on analog zero rises above two volts. So I've connected digital output five directly to the base of the transistor. You know, so I'm, I'm, I'm nearing completion already of this project here, uh, but what I'd like to do next is to see what do we want to do. We're making the, the Arduino nightlight. So here's the light bulb that's going to come in here, and this is what we want to turn on. Well, before we do the light bulb, let's do this. Let's get this voltage here 
at the center point between the resistor and the photocell, right where the voltage divider split happens, and send that in into analog zero right there of the Arduino like that. So the Arduino can constantly monitor that voltage. And that's the one we were looking at on the voltmeter as the video began. So just to rehash the connections we have here, let's just double check everything. We're monitoring the voltage at the midpoint between a resistor and a photocell on analog zero of the Arduino. We have ground of the Arduino going to ground of our circuit. We have five volts of the Arduino powering our voltage divider here at five volts. We have that going in there. And then we have digital line five going right to the base of an NPN transistor here, the middle lead. And we have the emitter of the transistor, ground, transistor grounded right there. Okay, so it looks like everything's looking good so far. So all we really need to do is then turn plug in the light bulb here, and the light bulb is the thing we, that we want to come on when the room gets dark, and we'll power that on the 9-volt battery, so we'll tap into the 9-volt supply on one end, so when the current starts to surge, it'll stop, or it won't flow at all through the light bulb unless the transistor is on, and so we'll connect the other side right to the collector of that transistor right there. So there we go. I think that's about it. That's the circuit right there. So what we'll do then is we just need to power on. Remember, we're using this we have one 9-volt battery over here, but that's powering the Arduino. So we'll get that second 9-volt battery sit here. And this is what the transistor is going to draw current from to send through the device. So everything's plugged in now. I still don't know if this is going to work. But we have the 9-volt battery installed. And it, if the light bulb should be off because it's, quote, unquote, very light in the room. And the voltage at that center tap point of the voltage divider is less than 2 volts. If I come in and cover the photocell now, and I'm not seeing anything happen. Let's double check all of our connections here. Yes, I've got this coming through the light bulb, going into the transistor, through the emitter right there. Digital pin 5 is going to the base of the transistor. I don't see anything wrong here. Ah, oh, there it goes. Here comes the light bulb. I'm a little impatient there. Maybe I found a bad connection or something. So when I cover that photo cell, it gets nice and dark. The light bulb indeed comes on. There you go. So this can be adjusted. It seems a little more sensitive than I sort of thought it would be here. But it seems as if the light bulb analogic is working fine. If I set this device in a room and the light suddenly went out, light started to turn off because the sun went down, that light bulb is going to turn on. Beautiful. And as the sun comes up again, as the light starts to turn on, the light bulb goes off. So here's darkness. Here's nighttime. And here's daytime. There we go. So we got it. So I hope you can appreciate all the flexibility that happens here. We're able to first diagnose the voltage that the voltage divider split can produce given different light levels hitting the photoresistor. And that can certainly be fine-tuned and adjusted. And once we knew that with the voltmeter, and this is the beautiful thing about the Arduino, then we can head over the Arduino code. And that flexibility of being in software allows us to read the voltage just like it was a voltmeter and just do whatever we want with it. We can change the 2 to a 2.5 or a 1, whatever the, the value needs to be according to the only type of resistor or photocell we might have had in our electronic supply box or given the ambient light levels that we're dealing with here. Uh, we had the flexibility there. And all we do is when you know some condition is met that we decide that we want it to be dark, we raise the pin 5 to be a high value, 5 volts, 40 milliamps. If that doesn't happen, then we make it low. You put all this stuff together here, and you're able to turn this light bulb on just beautifully. Much more flexible than the transistor circuit. More hardware is required, but a pretty nice little project nonetheless. And we hope you understand what you've done here is, is so, somewhat sophisticated. You have a sensor which is talking to a, the world here, and you've combined that with what you know about voltage dividers. You have a transistor here which is used in switch mode to switch a lot of current through another high-powered device you have the Arduino moderating the whole interaction. And you have two batteries, one to power the Arduino as a little computer, the other one here, which is what the light bulb draws its current from as switched by the transistor. Nice little project. As for extensions here, you can feel free to replace the light bulb with a buzzer or a motor. You can make it buzz when it gets dark and make a motor turn on when it goes dark. A lot of possibilities. Have fun.